Hey, 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 Superior Shave fans, another human side to do doing today. It's uh, 12 March 2021. Uh, what am I going to shave with today? Um, I guess I'll try this 4 8 razor, this uh, Herba Solingen first class that I honed yesterday with um, my new uh, beginner model lapping plate on the soft Arkansas, which makes a big cylinder. So I did step one on this one, as you may have seen in the video yesterday. And then I finished for a long time on this one. This is the uh, 3 by 10 inch black Arkansas stone. And this is elliptical versus uh, cylindrical. Gotta be honest, um, this this is a good razor to get around your mouth. I think I'm getting to the point with a 4 8 razor where it just doesn't have enough of a thinness zone from, you know, like once it reaches the skinniest part of the razor and then until it gets to the part where the bevel is created. That zone on a 4 8 razor is notably smaller than on a 6 8 razor and on a 5 8 razor and on a 7 8 razor. When you get to 7 8 razor, you have a really long skinny zone if it's a full hollow ground or an extra full hollow ground. Um, and that's great for making the tip flex, but now you have such a distance from the spine with the thicknesses to that thin part that the balance, in my opinion, becomes an issue. Um, I don't like honing the 7 8 razors that are extra hollow unless they have a very big scale. Uh, and I can I could feel it. It feels scale heavy really badly. Um, you know the four eights, the small four eights with small scales. They feel very nimble, like a short axis sports car or something. Uh, and they're great getting around your mouth, and you can see everywhere. But it's that flexibility issue is a problem, uh, especially you know especially all in this area. So I'm going to rely upon my little um, my Merker um, mustache razor here. Uh, so the primary side of the mustache razor is like this steep 60 degree thing. And um, I don't like the way that one feels. It feels like it's ripping off my face. But then they have this little backside with this little baby thing. And um, that one, the angle is lower of the, of the knife. And it's pretty good at, uh, at getting those little spots right there. This little thing. Um, you know, as you get older, your skin tears really easily. I will uh, use the uh, Rhina Borst brush. I'm going to use a bore brush this time because I haven't used one of those in a long time. And this uh, French Saving Soap Theophile Berthone. And I will uh, try my level best with that 4 8 razor, although, let's be honest, if it just gives me a, a solid B everywhere, I'm going to be very happy. But. Who knows? I've used it many times. Maybe it'll impress me this time around. This was ground by the same man that ground the uh, NTS Solingen razors. If you remember, we used to have them where the this part was stamped. And um, they always had this little heel that goes, this little drooping heel. And uh, yes, I... I know for a fact that that man made this razor and the razors that were for NTS. So they, a long time ago we used to have 4 8 razors that did not have a marking on the front from NTS uh, and they were mechanically identical to this. Don't know if it's true, but at a trade show a French producer and supplier of soap told me when you see French shaving soaps shaped like this saucer that means that you're supposed to Use that to wash your face as you pre-shave beforehand. So that's what I'll do. When in Rome, be like they are, because they're cool. <laughs> Maybe the old nose is coming back. It's been a while since I've used a uh, boar brush. But I've used this brush. Countless times, probably hundreds of times. I could smell that it's a pig but a long time ago. <laughs> well, that's nice and wet, but it needs to be thicker. No problem, we'll just add more product. And then if it gets too dry, you add more water. And if it gets too dense, you uh, add more product and water.
there was a time with this brush. I used to uh, soak it in boiling water from my tea kettle every time because they're so cheap. I don't care if they uh, lose all their hairs really quickly, but you forget it's so annoying when they come on your face when you're uh, shaving. <laughs> I hope you see what I did there. Uh, I don't like that. Well, toe feels great. I was worried about it, but... In the video yesterday, um, when I took it to my arm, the hair at the heel was like coming off 100 miles an hour. And I couldn't get the same reaction with the toe. But there's no test like shaving and um, you know, the hair hanging on your arm or whatever test. It can be very finicky based on the angle of the blade and where the... Uh, on my hair, I mean, it's got to be practically in perfect opposition or it doesn't do it at all. So either I've been sending out 20,000 dull razors, woo, or the hair is just a little bit more tricky to get. It's not like it's the coarsest hair, but the angle of the knife to the hair, it's very critical. Otherwise, it doesn't do cut them at all. That's almost something you got to do like at the end when just with plain water, I guess. So you can see where the hell you're going.
Well, it feels like it's doing nothing. So either that's a good thing or it's skipping right on by them. I don't know if you noticed this, but on these skinny little razors, I actually think it's easier to hold it incorrectly than to hold it correctly. So that way I feel like it's going to flip out of my hand. But if I hold it this way, it, I, don't, I don't feel like it will. And that's not the correct way to hold it by the book. I hope you've learned it. Old posterior shade to think for yourself. And don't take yourself too damn seriously. I would say that's pretty good. Um, it's 2:44. We'll check down. We'll check back with you at 3:15. Hey, it's almost beer o'clock. I got a uh, Carlsberg in the fridge, waiting for me. I promised myself if I got here early and busted my ass till 3 o'clock, that would be my reward. I haven't had a calorie the whole day. Um, and uh, we're almost there. Let me go do some editing. That's my favorite thing to do. Editing, right? I could tell that. Uh, that is a shave where the result is going to be spectacular and you just don't get the pleasure during it that you get from a longer razor that's more flexible. But yeah, when I got to the toe and was working the hard parts, there's just no resistance. So that means it's good. Um, you know, maybe I'll piff this razor to somebody. Uh, you never know who you are, you just get it extra. A little note. Maybe I'll mail it to a hater, if I have their address, an anti Uh Well, it's 27 after the next hour, uh, stuck in the editing, but um, the shave was spectacular, as you can see. And uh, I was about to go do this postscript part when I heard a loud knocking on the door. Uh, so I rush out to the front of the commercial building. And what is there? Dun dun dun! An unexpected box from Dovo! An unexpected box from Dovo. Uh, I haven't opened it, had a lot of stuff ordered, didn't know what was going on there, they're under new ownership as you know. So this, these are orders going back to January. Hopefully there's a lot of good things that I'm out of stock on and they'll all be add to cart buttons in just a little bit here. First let me get this goddamn video up again. Hey, wonderful to see you as always, till next time.